All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so AMD have released AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 recently, a couple days ago, and some people have been asking, like, how they, if it's actually working on the Legion Go and how to install it, and yes, it does. I can confirm. I've seen some people using it, and I've been using it for a little bit as well. So I'm just going to do a fresh install now, guys, and I'll show you guys how to install it and how to get it up and running right i'll give you a little bit of a gameplay at the end as well so stay tuned for that and also don't forget to hit that like button sub to channel for more awesome content guys and drop a comment down below if you have any questions and anything guys and let me get into it real quick right it's not officially from lenovo so we got a side loaded into your system and it's perfectly safe you might have some bugs here and there but it's not that buggy as of now nothing crazy that'll break a device but you just got to make sure you follow the video step by step guys all right so the first thing i want you to do just go to search and i want you to create a restore point you just type restore point in hit search hit restore point when you get in here create restore point you give it a name and then you just hit create right already created one already so that's why i'm not doing it again if you click right here next you'll see right here august 4th that's the one i just did manually so that restore point is just in case if you want to go back to your original settings before that driver then you're all set you just go back there and restore right back to that guys so next thing is you want to go to the website and here this is the preview version of the amd fluid motion 2 just so that you know and you want to go down here the link will be down in the description down below you guys gotta scroll down to AMD Software General Edition AFMF2 installation package, right? You just click right here and then you could start downloading it from right there. When you download it, it will come in here in your download section. And it's this one right here. It's just another one I was looking at. So it's this one right here. But first thing I want you to do, you go to this PC, C drive. You wanna delete this folder right here, AMD folder. Right click hit delete continue let us do this thing right so now go back to that file that you just downloaded which is this one you want to right click run as admin hit yes it's going to do its thing if you guys did this already you guys know the drill it's going to try to install the package but then it will fail and that's what you want All right, so oops, something went wrong. All right, that's good. Close that off. So now if you go back to your folder, if you go back to this PC, C drive, you should see a new AMD folder, right? You don't have to go in here, but we'll just click on it to show you what's going on. Now let's go back here. All right, so now you wanna to go to device manager. So let's go to search, type device manager in. When it open up on the left, you'll see display adapter open up the arrow you're gonna see amd written graphics you want to right click you want to update driver browse for my computer let me pick from a list you want to make sure this is selected you want to click add disk then browse now you go to this pc your c drive you go to the amd folder AMD software installer. I'm gonna go to packages, drivers, display, the INF folder. I'm gonna scroll down, you're gonna see a paper looking file. That's the only file that's in there, all the way at the bottom. It should look like a paper. And it's gonna say INF at the end. You wanna hit that, and then you wanna hit open. Then you press OK. So then you wanna look for amd radian 780m graphics you want to make sure you choose the right one guys there's a lot of 780m in there and you hit next it's going to give you a warning you just press yes let it do its thing real quick all right so once it's done installing you should see windows has successfully update your driver then you should be good from there so now you can close that close this now you want to uninstall whatever adrenaline software you have in your system so you want to go to search again, you want to add and remove programs, 
So you look for general software, which is right here. Press the dots, click on install. Once that's done, just go back to the folder again. You go to the C drive, AMD folder, software install, packages, drivers, display, the INF folder. Now, when you scroll down here, you see a number B405374. Open that. So now you're going to look for a file. It's like CCC file. Scroll down. Right here. So CCC to install. Click on that. And this is going to install the new adrenaline software that's compatible with the new driver that you just updated. Hit yes. Let us do this thing real quick. All right, so once it says complete, you gotta make sure you're watching it and it's, it's gonna say install. When it's done, you're gonna see it complete at the top. So don't close it out until you see complete. Once you see complete, you could close that out. X that, hit your system with a restart. All right, so when you're back on, when your system turn back on, just search and search for the AMD software. You open that. And then you should have this right here. You can skip this. When you get in here, you'll see a new current version, 24.20.01.02. If you go to gaming, go to graphics, and here you should see AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. And also, I think once you turn it on, enable, you should see performance mode, because that's also a uh, feature that came out. So you got quality or performance. So if you want better performance, you can go to performance and or quality. It's up to you. And then you also see search mode. Search mode, improve frame generation quality and high resolution, right? So that's basically what each two settings that's come on the frame generation. Let me set this to performance for now. Um, next thing, you want to make sure you have the overlay turned on, performance overlay. All right, so to enable the performance overlay, you want to go to settings, go to preferences, and here you're going to see in game overlay. You want to make sure that's on. So now, when you go back to performance, you would see tracking and overlay. So to click on overlay, and then this is what you're going to need to track your FPS for frame generation because the built in frame tracker from the Go is not going to be able to track all the generated FPS that you're getting. So you got to use this software if you're using AMD Fluid Motion Frames too, right? So you want to go here, then you want to enable metrics overlay. And then you could do it on game detection. So whenever you boot a game up, it will come on or you can leave it off. So that it's always on. It's up to you. So if you turn it off, if you turn it on now, it will turn off here because no game is running right now, right? So I just wanted to show you guys and that's it. And then you could change the size and everything from there here as well and customize it to your liking if you go to gaming you could do it for each individual game that you have in your system so let's say i want to do a spider-man you go to spider-man turn on frame generation for that and then you can put it performance or quality for each different each individual game right so i'm gonna just do a little bit of gameplay with spider-man so you guys can see what's going on and as I said before, hit that like button if you like what I'm posting. Sub to channel for more awesome content, guys. And drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. If you like AMD Fluid Motion 2 and how it's going for you. All right, so now I'm going to show you the, like, the difference between frame generation 2 and you not using frame generation 2. And also, uh, I was just playing it FSR 3 and also using AMD Fluid Motion Frame 2. So that's the thing you could do as well. So I could do that for you guys and you guys could see it, see what's going on. So now let's get into it real quick. So AMD Fluid Motion Frame 2 is off. Boot up the game. So when you boot it up, it will tell you 
if you have it on or off on the screen see right here down here it says disable disable antilog and the full motion frame tool is disabled so now this is the fps that is showing all right so with my settings real quick i'm gonna show you got it on 800p 144 hertz also 30 watts as well 800p 144 hertz as i said before and back to the game and also the frame tracker is sideways i'm guessing that's because of the aspect ratio of the screen and they didn't fix that but i'm open on full release they'll fix that so that we can actually see the right the right way exactly what i'm saying if you get what i'm saying but now i don't know how to fix it so right here up top right here is the fps i'm getting 82 as of now and that's with all my settings i got fsr3 off as you can see and all my graphics is on low but you can play with it and you don't have to play on low not right now with all these frame generation and stuff that's out but i'm just showing you the higher mass fps you could get and so i'll show you what's going on right now this is without fsr3 or amd fluid motion on still playable because i'm getting around averaging around 60 72 73 around there that's without any type of frame generated frames right it goes down to like 57 56 at one point swing around for a little bit Sixty-two. Alright, so let me turn on FSR 3 now. Go over here. Display. Down. Frame data frames. FSR 3. I've done quality back hit continue continue again let's go back to make sure it's saved all right fsr3 frame generation frame is on and p everything right there all right i'll go back now now i'm up to 122 125 that's where fsr3 still playing smooth 122 up there Alright, FSR3 is not bad. You don't have to use both, but I'll show you how both react with each other in a minute. After I show you MD Food Motion Frames. One eleven, one twenty around there. Drop down to 90 to 100 just now. Alright, so now let's disable FSR3 and turn on MD Food Motion Frames 2. Back in here, go down, off, let's turn this off as well, go back, save, save, go back in again, make sure it's off, alright, off, now, let's go to the AMD app, on here, go to games, Spider-Man, so now you turn AMD full motion on, and I have it on performance, right there, I head back to the game. Now I'm at 161, 152. Averaging around, around about the same. Goes up and down. It's kind of erratic as well. Same thing with FSR 3. But this is good because not every game have FSR 3. You get me? So if there's... If there's no FSR 3 built into the game, now you can get AMD Full Motion 2 on any game in your system, guys. It might work good with some games and not that great with some. But at least now you have the option with these like small devices that's not that powerful compared to like a high rig computer. Right? So now you can get amazing frames and performance 
out of these small devices, guys. That's the main thing about AMD Field Motion Frames. Any game that you're playing, you could turn it on for that game, and it should up and be, you should be up and running and amazing FPS. So it's not bad. It's fluctuating all over. I can tell you, depending on what you're doing. But FSR three in this case on Spider-Man three is kind of better. You know what I'm saying? And just so that we're clear, let me close the game, boot it back up so you guys could see that it's actually activated, right? So how you know it's active, you just, once you start the game up and you have it on already on the game or on your system, let's hit play. And when it's booting up, it will tell you that it's activated. Right here, down at the bottom, see it's AMD full motion frames on, anti-lag on as well. So you guys know that I'm not like tagging out your, your trains or whatever. Working great, not bad. So I'm about to show you guys AMD full motion frames with FSR 3 activated together and see what's up. All right, so let's turn on FSR 3 right now. Go back to settings. See, it was off before. Frame generation on. FSR 3, back, save. Save. go back in just to check again all right everything is good so now i got active amd full motion frames and fsr3 and you guys can see how that works this is not ideal you don't have to do this but if you want you can do it it's up to you 157 around there so it should be more stable around that mark right if you get what i'm saying you don't need this much more this much frames all the time but if you play on FSR 3, it should be more stable around here on this um, FPS. Depending on what game you're playing as well. 110, 112, 140. It goes up and down, 160. 157. Highest I've seen it was like 170. But the screen, as the screen refresh rate on the legion go only goes up to 140 so keep that in mind as well so it's still smooth i don't see any lag or anything like that i mean a little bit but it's not crazy if you know what i'm saying no input lag that's game breaking that you can't play it and yeah that's basically it guys just want to show you guys what's going on that amd full motion frames is up and running on legion go as of right now but that's amd full motion frames 2 so let me know what you think if you have it on your system and it also works on the Acer Rogue Ally X as well. So if you want to do it on Acer Rogue Ally X, same process, do it. And yeah, thanks for tuning in guys and drop a comment down below, hit that like button. And remember to always say guys, health is wealth, peace and love, I'm out.